Fans of fantasy pro wrestling, listen up. I am Vicious Jeremy, the current reigning and defending FPW Universal Champion with a special message for you, Pumpkin Escobar. For the record, I believe that THQ Knight, a night of champions, was an epic night. A night of celebration. A night I'll never forget. Because for the first time ever, in fantasy pro wrestling history, all championships were defended, and we've reached the best of the best of the best. By the end of the night, triple threat, one fall to a finish for the Universal Championship title belt. The outcome was Pumpkin Escobar unable to get back into the ring for the count of ten, and I and G.I. John fought a good battle, which in the end, my arm was raised. But now I'm getting all these speculations that I lost the belt to Pumpkin Escobar directly after that was over. Let me tell you something, Pumpkin Escobar. Do you know how much work I have put in investing in this? Do you know how much work it is for me to retain the belt? Let me tell you something else, Pumpkin. You, my friend, were unable to retain what was yours. Cruiserweight Championship. Remember that last year? You couldn't even retain it. Champion for a few months, next thing you know, who are you? But all I can say is kudos to you and congratulations on being the superstar with the most points. You, my friend, deserve everything. But you don't deserve this. Now with Beach Blast on the horizon, all I can say is, you and I have unfinished business. And it won't just be some simple one fall match. Mm. It's going to be a best two out of three falls, as I like to call it, the three stages of hell. And so far, we only have one stipulation, which is a hardcore match. No holes barred. False count anywhere. But rest assure you, there will be more at stake. I'll keep in touch with you, Pumpkin. And for all of you FPW fans, keep watching and enjoy Beach Blast 2014. drinking rules the rules are pretty simple there are no rules you can do whatever you want the referee all he has to do is make sure there's a pinfall a submission or if somebody is incapable of moving that's pretty much how it goes down ladies and gentlemen Uh, in this 
case, we have a tag team drinking rules match. Never been done before in fantasy pro wrestling history. And speaking of drinking, ladies and gentlemen, this show has been brought to you by Cognac Cabana, the coldest drink north of Havana. Thank you for taking part in this event, ladies and gentlemen. Beach Blast 2014 is looking good. Look at this video! The prep boys in the ring. Joe Namath, reigning No Mercy champion. Weighing in at 256 pounds, Michael. Michael McMaster, or Mick Doom, one half of the Lethal Enforcers. Now, get over to this. For the last couple of weeks, the Prep Boys, Jesse the Hand Baudouin, and Mick Laving have been very impressive. They have defeated the low rack and the high rack, or low rank and high rank, of the tag team division here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling. And yet, Mick Doom and Joe Namath are here tonight. It is on. Mick Doom and Pentalex, Lethal Enforcers, they lost a couple of days ago to the prep boys, Jesse the Hand, the Baudouin, and the Mick Laving. But ladies and gentlemen, what just happened is that the prep boys are back. They have reunited themselves. I mean, look at this. When was the last time you saw Mick Laving and Jesse the Hand, Baudouin, fighting side by side? It was a very long time ago, fans. About three years ago, to be exact. And the only reason why they're back, as far as I am concerned, and the championship committee, is all because of Jesse Decay, the greatest man that ever lived. What happened at THQ night was atrocious. But I guess Jesse Decay showed his true colors that very night, and as a result, the prep boys are, are back, and they're here to eliminate Joe Namath, reigning No Mercy champion. That's pretty much what's going on right now. They're trying to eliminate the No Mercy champion, Joe Namath, causing a blemish in his undefeating streak here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling as of, as of this, this year, 2014. And already blood is being shed, and the winner of the, and the winning team of this match, whoever wins, we have an odd of three people here, the winner of this match gets a shot at the No Mercy Championship next month at Obliteration. The very first ever No Mercy pay-per-view. All No Mercy pay-per-view. And the loser will have to drink. We'll have to drink a whole entire bottle of Conan Cabana Straight. And it's made with 40% alcohol. The drink's not 40%, but there's some 40% alcohol in there. And... These men, obviously, I don't know if they've had supper yet. I haven't had supper yet. But I'm sure that if they chug it all down... I mean, we're talking about 300 milliliters of alcohol down your throat. As a matter of fact, since we have a tag team, there's somebody in the back right now, in the production crew, making a second bottle right now so that the team will have to drink. Like I said, fans, this is the first time in fantasy pro wrestling history ever that we're having a tag team drinking rules match. We've had singles matches, drinking rules, and we've had one time at Blood, Sweat, and Tears 2001 a triple threat um, drinking rules match featuring McDoom and Jesse Bodwin. Who are in the ring right now, so a lot of history right there, you know, in this match alone. But the main bullet point of this contest is because Jesse Jesse Decay had assembled a crew, two count, wow, had assembled a crew 
to exterminate Joe Namath.